that happened. <laughs> I was looking in the um, outpipe there and it seemed that the level wasn't quite right there and actually it might have been that the level in that was actually just below the outtake somehow even though this as you saw overflowed so there was some something was blocking this and stopping stuff getting in and that wasn't leveling up which i think was why the gas wasn't coming out because i just when i just put this last bit of food into here there was an explosion of gas through here We've got gas, finally. Um, not a lot, it's a, a slow burner, if you will. Um, the temperature outside has been really cold again, as you can expect, it's winter. So I've now got my Raspberry Pi linked up to some temperature sensors, and we'll show you that in a second. So we're gonna put that in. One's gonna be inside, one's gonna be outside, and we are going to see what happens, see how much how warm it is inside compared to outside if it changes too much dramatically the heater is still in and it's still on um, so we've been heating for a long time so <coughs> essentially found out from the last week of this this being on that it's not going to be economical to use this heater all the time all the way through the winter that's like four months um, which should be two or three hundred pounds so it'll be worth sorting out a rocket stove that will be coming probably in a couple of weeks because I've got to get all the stuff to make that first but for now the what, this gas outlet here there's a slight leak at the bottom of it I haven't actually um, sealed all the pipes in I remember the other day um, so we're gonna cement this pipe this main gas line pipe in there's a small leak at the bottom that'll hopefully increase the amount of gas we get and we're also gonna install the pie so let's have a look at that Okay, so for, I haven't actually got any film of me putting this together, um, it wasn't pretty, it was all experimenting, so um, I didn't really know what I was doing, so there wasn't a really kind of like flow to the filming, so um, not really finished yet, this is just a, enough so that I can uh, actually get some data to show you guys. Um, so I have my box, open up the lid, so it's a pretty simple system. Um, we have these two, um, these are waterproof um, DB18S20, I think is what they're called. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for those. Um, this is the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 or B, I think. And then obviously just a breadboard. So the power comes in the side there. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, um, so let's, let's hook him up. box is in again not looking very pretty but it'll do for now um, so ideally I put the temperature probe into this one which is a gas outlet um, because that's all sealed um, obviously but then I'd have to make that the probe sealed and it's a bit more of a involved process for now I'm just gonna put it into the liquid in the entrance and we just have to take it out every time we uh, we do it so let's we're gonna do that I'm just gonna attach the bottom of this to a bit of hazel with a zip tie and we can put him in and uh, hopefully the measures the temperatures which is exciting because we get some data which is always great okay so it's got two at the bottom there um, well this is I'm not getting this out once it goes in <laughs> through the grossness So it might be colder in this section than it would be in the other sections because it's not sealed. Um, this is definitely below the waterline, but it's not that far below the waterline. The waterline is probably about here-ish, and it's down to about here. So it's a couple of inches below the waterline. So but we'll get a, an idea of the temperature because the, the heat is only here, so it's not too far away. Um, anyway, right. So that's now in there. 
we can we can link this up to here. Well, we'll do that in a second. But I think what we're going to do now is just take this off and put some of this cement around it to, to hold up that leak. So we're probably going to lose some gas doing this, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, it's time to plug him in. He's on. He's lit up. So now we just have to um, sign into it, make sure everything's running correctly, and we should get some temperatures. So this is the browser of the app that I'm using at the moment. As I mentioned before, it's not, not great um, for this kind of stuff, but it was the simplest thing I could find at short notice to, to get my temperature sensors set up. As you can see, um, temperature 55, sensor 55, which is the digester, is saying 85 degrees. Um, that's not correct. Um, there seems to be some kind of connection error. Um, occasionally it's saying the right temperature, which is about 33 degrees. Um, but the top sensor, which is the ambient temperature sensor, is, is right. But what I can do is I can show you a graph of all the correct temperatures from today. So it's just been going for one day, and you can see that actually the, the heater is keeping it. It seems there are 33 degrees, which is pretty decent. The temperature outside has been variable between 7 and what that's now 4 degrees. We have been getting gas, so all positive. Right, that's everything for today, folks. If anyone's got any um, suggestions about the Raspberry Pi in terms of um, any kind of apps that would be good to use, <coughs> anything like that, that'd be really interesting to, to know. Um, so I'm, new, I'm new to this, um, especially doing all that kind of stuff, so kind of learning as I go. If anyone's got any suggestions, it'd be really helpful. Um, so yeah, just let me know below. Otherwise, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. See you later. Ha 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 